Hey vlog, how are you doing down there? I don't know what that was, but I had like fluff on these beanies, I swear. Welcome to another week in my life. I feel like I'm looking down on you like you're some sort of peasants. I don't know how much content is going to be in this week's vlog because I've got a very busy week and I'm going away this weekend. So we're going to try and make a vlog out of this and keep up with the routine and schedule of these videos. We've been uploading every week. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's been good. It's been consistent and we're going to keep on the grind. As you know, I love an online order. I get really excited when I have something on its way to me. I've never owned a handbag in my entire life. When I dress up and go out for the evening, I always take my little Vans bag and I was just like, um, it's not looking too classy. So I've actually gone and got like, this skull spiky handbag for those evenings where I actually have an outfit. Obviously, it doesn't go with the trackies right now, but imagine a nice outfit with this handbag. I also got this shoe rack and put all my vans on it. Look at all those lovely vans, and it's got that like, it's cool print on it, but you could never see it because the shoes are on it, which is kind of annoying. I love checkers, as you can see. <laughs> I got some festival bits there, and also some stickers have arrived also because I want to get this complete. I've only got this much done so far, so I ordered some more stickers to get the rest done. I noticed that these have a black outline, but that's okay because this side, these drawers have black outlines, so I'm going to do the black ones over here. And hopefully this is enough to finish off these drawers. So we've got some clowns, we've got some weird looking monsters and like eyeballs and skulls and stuff, you know, aliens. I've done a few already, but this would actually be quite interesting to see how long this takes. So it's about half two right now. Uh, we'll see what time it is when I'm done. Second drawer done. And that's the third one. So nearly done but we have run out of stickers. Those have got the black trim on, so I can't really use them, but we're so close to getting three done. We've got this little space here, but that took 45 minutes of just peeling stickers and placing it down. So now it's time to order more stickers, I guess. I thought that was going to be enough. Now time to do this drawer, I guess. Ready? Three, two, one. Done. Now again, I just need to order more for the bottom drawer. It's actually annoying because I like the black stroke around the stickers way more than the white ones over on those other drawers, but I'm in too deep now. <laughs> like, I feel like the white is too bright. But for now, I don't want to look at a sticker for a while. I realised as I was doing that, the reason why I am sticker bombing the drawers is, like I said before, I hate just things blank and nothing on them. So, I, like, these blank black drawers needed to have something on them. So it makes so much sense now why I've done this. I just woke up. What's going on in my back garden? Oh great, a bouncy castle. I got new car mats and I don't know how I feel about them because I'm pretty sure they're not the right size for my car. I've also got them in the back as well. Oh my god, I have a packet of mini cheddars. So there's no mini cheddar in there. I could start it all over again if I wanted to. The funny thing is, I don't even like my phone. No. The funny thing is, I'm now associated with mini cheddars and I don't even like them that much. You're probably thinking, where am I off to? I'm off to my weekly coffee lunchtime break with Cat and Billy. It's our weekly thing and it is cute. It does get me out of the house and it is so hot right now. That's why I got sunglasses on. I've got shorts on as well. I've let these pale things into the sight of the public. Oh my God, this is windows down weather. Oh, let's get the tunes going. It feels like summer, baby. Back at our same coffee shop as... Uh, I hate you so much. Back at our coffee shop that we were here last week. Billy's already ate his biscuit already. What? Have you ate a bit of mine as well? My coffee's been fingered and my cake has also been. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Wait, do a cheers. Why? It's hot, it's hot. Ow! On my way home, I know you're looking at that and thinking, why is that on all the time? I'm thinking the same thing. I don't know what is wrong with it. It's in the middle. On my way home, and I decided to stop at one of my favourite stores in the world. If you're from the UK, you know about B&M. I had to smile at a random person because they were looking at me whilst I was talking to a... object. That's what you are. An object. I'm gonna go in there and get some canvases because if you don't know, I love a good painting session. And I sell all my artwork on my Etsy at Bakey Makes. Link in description. She's still there. Hmm. Of course I didn't just get the canvases. So I got the four canvases. I saw some of these, some crocs. I know these aren't real crocs. I've got fake crocs at the moment from Primark, which are green. But the Primark ones aren't circular holes like this. These are still fakes, obviously, but I can actually put charms in these because they're circular and they're black and less in your face. I want to get like rubber duck charms and skull charms and stuff like that. Got some chewing gum. I like to have things in my mouth. 
no no but genuinely like i need to be doing something at all times hand movements mouth movements and i've got an anniversary present that i can't show you because it's uh my, my boyfriend's anniversary this weekend so <laughs> so yeah i spent more than i wanted to in there but it's b&m what do i expect i'm just about to go live on tiktok this is my setup Obviously, I have the snake behind me because people that are just scrolling down, they're like, oh my god, I recognize that person. And then they put the two to two together and they're like, oh, it's you. So let's see how this goes. We're live right now and we're putting the gifters on Snape. Say hi, vlog. Oh, Lewis with the dinosaur. Well, that was a successful, fun little TikTok live I just did. I'm now just going to chill and do some painting. Got my canvases and I've got these new pens that I am looking forward to try out. These are acrylic painting pens. I don't know what they're like, but... I'll let you know. Right, so apparently step one, you shake, hold the pen upside down, press this gently apparently. I didn't do that gently, that was quite ferocious. Press tip down several times until paint flows. <gasps> the paint's coming. Oh! And this right here is acrylic paint coming out of a pen. That's kind of cool. So I just finished off painting this monster. Don't know where it came from but I'm really like painting monsters at the moment. That was done with the pens and then I also this but with real paint and I'm gonna name this one Team No Sleep. You know you've got 3am, 4am like you're recording your times throughout the night and then it goes to 5a and then 6 with half of an 8 and then like half of a 7 I thought it was pretty cool. If you want to get your hands on any of my paintings, link in bio, Bakey Makes on Etsy. And not only do you get the painting hand signed, you also get a photo of me hand signed with a letter inside and a sticker. Like I try and present it and make it as personal as I can when I'm sending you these things. And it's not expensive. Like the best thing for me is just having my work in someone else's house or someone else wanting my art. That to me is mind blowing. So yeah, go check out my Etsy if you want some of my paintings or you just want to hand signed picture of me i don't know why you'd want that or a letter from me i don't know why you want that but yeah currently in ikea with my nephew michael say hello 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 we love a day out in ikea we haven't actually done anything or bought anything we're just walking around exploring the different things and thinking if we did have a house what would we get uh a shark you get a shark in the house hi hi run away <laughs> see you later see you later bye bye Oh no, wait, wait, oh, oh no. Michael, <laughs> I didn't mean to actually run away. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I didn't think that through. Where's the Ikea shark? Ikea shark, okay, we'll get you an Ikea shark. I am responsible. I'm not Ikea. I promise. I'm not Ikea. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Right, so we've been forced to buy these items a giant snake and a baby version of the shark that I have at home. But now we are sat here waiting. For the best part of Ikea, which is the food. Meatballs? Nah. Yep. Just got back from Ikea. I know you guys are all gonna know what I got from Ikea. So here we go. So we got this plain mug, which doesn't have a handle, which I thought was really cool. Well, it's not plain, it's got this weird design on it, but that'd be cool for my little flat white in the morning. Got a dirty washing travel bag, which I can just put dirty washing in. This random box, because I saw it for two pounds and was just like, that will probably be useful one day of my life. We got these boxes, which is actually four, because obviously I got a sliver in one there. I want it to all be black. So I'm replacing the sliver in one with a black one. And the final one and the biggest purchase was this circular mirror, but it actually is like a fish eye mirror which i'll put up in next week's vlog for you so you can see it properly but basically it looks like a fisheye lens it's kind of like you know when you're driving you see those blind spot mirrors on the side of the road i've always wanted one for ages okay <laughs> i know you're probably very confused but i think they look really cool and i'm gonna put it up there right one of the questions I get asked a lot is, do I regret my Harry Potter tattoo? As you guys know, I don't really do Harry Potter videos much anymore. And unfortunately, a lot of Harry Potter has been ruined by one individual. And obviously people ask me, do I regret it? Am I gonna get it covered up? And no. Harry Potter is a huge part of my life. It was a huge part of my childhood. It shaped so much of my life. And I'm not gonna be uh, oblivious and not realize what it's done for me. And I wouldn't be the person I am without Harry Potter. I can look at this and it'd be like any of my other students stupid tattoos that were memories and meanings to it. It's not screaming Harry Potter, it's a subtle way. A lot of people don't even know it's a Harry Potter tattoo, but no, I don't regret it. Maybe I regret how big it is and where it is, but that was just because even if I was still a huge Harry Potter fan to this day and still doing Harry Potter stuff, I thought about it like an hour before getting it and just plonked it there because it was my first tattoo. I've legit got to the point with Harry Potter where I have put a little bow on it, 
boxed it up, it did what it did at its time, done. But I got a tattoo to remind me of all of those times. But yeah, hopefully that explains it because I know a lot of you were asking it. Um, and yeah, uh, that was just a little segment of the vlog to let you know about that. Alright, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I'm sorry if it's been a short one. I don't really know what I've filmed. It's been a lot. I am going away tomorrow. I need to pack. I need to sort my life out. I always need to sort my life out, to be honest. But I don't want to ruin the good streak that we're on right now. So make sure you go in the comments down below. Let me know how much you enjoy these vlogs and everything like that. I love replying to them and sitting through them. Give a big thumbs up if you didn't enjoy. That means so much to me. All my socials and everything in the description down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for watching this right up to the end of the video. Video. I appreciate the ones who sit there and watch the whole thing and just make it part of their weekly routine. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye!